Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Made with Love edible gift series. I have been absolutely loving this series because everything has been so super tasty and because it gives me an excuse to wear basically nonstop plaid for an entire month. And there is nothing wrong with that. On today's episode, I want to show you three amazing liqueur recipes that are the perfect gift for any adult who enjoys a little holiday cheer. I'm going to be showing you my super simple but superb spiced rum recipe, a wonderful Irish cream recipe, and finally, a pumpkin spice liqueur that you could basically pour over anything. Don't forget that all of these awesome recipes and these adorable labels are all available in my Made with Love ebook. All of the details are in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Now let's get started with my simple spiced rum. The important part about creating edible gifts is that they look as beautiful as they taste. So we are starting with a cinnamon stick. We've also got some star anise, which has a really licorice -y flavor. And finally, some cloves. Now a little clove goes a long way. Don't say I didn't warn you. To add even more flavor, I'm going to be adding a strip of orange zest. And of course, immediately when you're working with oranges or clementines, your house smells amazing, your hands smell amazing. And half a vanilla bean. All I'm going to do is chop this up with some golden rum and let it sit for two to three days. Once it's infused with all of these amazing holiday flavors, it can be added to baked goods, enjoyed over ice, or made into hot buttered rum. The best way to celebrate the holidays, as far as I'm concerned. Next up, we are making some homemade Irish cream liqueur. For this recipe, I'm going to be using some coconut milk, but you could also do this with dairy milk if you wanted to. To my milk, I'm going to add some strong brewed coffee. If you have espresso, that is even better. To that, we are going to add our sweetener. In this case, I'm using maple syrup. You could definitely do this with agave. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of vanilla extract and some cocoa powder. I'm going to whisk all of this yumminess together until the cocoa powder is dissolved, and then it's time to add our Irish whiskey, because that, of course, is what makes this Irish cream liqueur. If you're not familiar with Irish cream, it can be enjoyed straight up, or in coffee or baked goods, or my favorite way to serve it, pour it over vanilla ice cream. We're just going to transfer it into a pretty bottle, and it will last in the fridge for up to two weeks. Finally today, we're whipping up a beautiful batch of pumpkin spice liqueur. And I have to tell you, this might be one of the best things I have ever made on this channel. I know that's a bold statement, but trust me, once you taste it, you will understand. For this recipe, we're getting started by combining some water, some sugar, and some brown sugar in a saucepan on the stove. We're going to bring this mixture to a gentle boil, whisking it until all the sugar is dissolved. Once the sugar is completely dissolved, we are going to add some pumpkin. Now you might find this hard to believe, but this pumpkin spice liqueur actually includes some pumpkin. And not to worry, we're gonna strain it all anyway, so don't worry about the little bits floating. I've got some cinnamon sticks, a few cloves. I've also got some beautiful pieces of fresh ginger that I've peeled and chopped. And I'm also grating some fresh nutmeg over top. If you don't have whole nutmeg, you could definitely do this with dried, but come on, we're committing. This is a gift. To round out all of these gorgeous flavors, I'm also adding half of a vanilla bean. I'm going to reduce my heat to low, put the lid on my pot, and let this beautiful mixture simmer for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, your house will smell amazing. And all we're going to do is just strain this mixture through some cheesecloth to make sure we remove all of the pumpkin puree. What you're left with is this gorgeous, sweet and spicy syrup that is good all on its own, but could be made better by adding some rum, some bourbon, or some brandy. And that, my friends, is a gift worth giving. I really hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo, because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. Speaking of Instagram, be sure to head over and follow me at The Domestic Geek One, because I'm sharing brand new edible gift ideas every day until Christmas. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.